The C929, a long-range, wide-body aircraft entirely developed by China, has just achieved a historic milestone, signaling the dawn of a new era in global aviation. No longer a mere concept, this aircraft represents a giant leap forward, a bold and unmistakable declaration that China is no longer playing catch-up, but is now rising to challenge the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. But just how powerful is the C929? And how have the aviation giants reacted to this emerging threat from the East? Let's dive in. When the C919 made its debut in commercial service, that aircraft successfully caught the attention of the entire world. But behind the success lay something far more ambitious. A vision not just to participate in the aviation race, but to change the rules entirely. Yes, China wasn't stopping at narrow-body aircraft. Its next goal is a wide-body long-haul jet powered by fully independent domestic technology. Let's take note of the word domestic technology. It will give you some surprising things. And the result is the C929, a new aircraft designed to carry up to 280 passengers and fly an impressive 12,000 kilometers nonstop. It's a machine built not just to fly, but to compete head to head with the West. But it was only the beginning of a story that would take many unexpected turns. The C929 project officially launched in 2015, at a time when China was still developing its know-how in wide-body aviation. To fast-track the process, COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, entered a bold partnership with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. The two giants joined forces under the name CR929, with over $2 billion in joint investment. Under the deal, China would fund development, Russia would provide technical expertise, final assembly would take place in China, and the aircraft would initially target markets in China, Russia, and Greater Asia. On paper, it looked like a perfect match. China had industrial scale and supply chain dominance, and Russia brought decades of experience in materials, aerodynamics, and engine systems. But in 2021, everything changed. The Ukraine war erupted sending shockwaves through the aerospace collaboration. Russian engineers were pulled into military projects. By 2022, the partnership had collapsed. Russia officially withdrew from the project. Publicly available information suggests that the reason behind Russia's withdrawal was due to a complex set of causes, primarily involving geopolitics, technology, and strategic interests. However, one of the most significant points of contention between the two countries was over the control and access to engine technology. China sought deeper access to the engine technologies held by Russia, driven by its long-term ambition for independent development. Russia, fearing a potential reverse transfer of technology, refused to share the core design details and remained firm in protecting its national technological assets. These disagreements ultimately eroded the technical trust between the two sides and led to the breakdown of the collaboration. To many, this looked like the end. A wide-body aircraft built without Russia's help? It's impossible. But China has proved that they can do it. With a strong determination, COMAC rebranded the project as the C929, and this time, on its own. Though a few components still came from Russian suppliers, the design, engineering, and manufacturing now lay firmly in Chinese hands. The world watched with skepticism. Could China, without outside technical support, really deliver a wide-body aircraft that could meet international standards? Then, something unexpected happened. On February 20th, 2025, China made a stunning announcement. The C929 had officially entered its flight testing phase. No longer just a prototype, this Chinese wide-body aircraft had become a fully functional aircraft built entirely with Chinese technology, certified to international standards, and protected by independent intellectual property rights. Western media had a boom. Analysts who once dismissed the C929 as an overambitious dream now began to pay attention to this eastern aircraft. The aviation game had changed, and the C929 was no longer a rumor. It was ready to fly. But how powerful is the C929? At first, many experts dismissed it as merely a scaled-up version of the C919. But once the detailed specifications were revealed, that perception quickly vanished. This wide-body aircraft can carry up to 280 passengers, nearly twice the capacity of the C919, and boasts a range of 12,000 kilometers, three times farther. While the C919 is a narrow-body, single-aisle jet designed for domestic routes, the C929 is a twin-aisle widebody, purpose-built for ultra-long-haul international flights connecting global hubs like Beijing to New York 
or Shanghai to London. Not only that, the C929 is designed to compete directly with industry heavyweights like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, but in several areas, it doesn't just match them, it surpasses them. Equipped with 10 major onboard systems, including avionics, communications, navigation, and both primary and secondary hydraulic systems, paired with an advanced wing design, the Chinese aircraft sets a new benchmark in performance and safety. These systems not only enhance efficiency and reliability, but also improve passenger comfort and lower operating costs. However, that's not one of the most amazing part. One of the C929's most significant technological breakthroughs lies in its materials. The aircraft features 15% titanium alloy and over 50% carbon fiber composite materials, more than four times the 12% used in the C919. These advanced materials reduce weight, enhance aerodynamics, and make the aircraft more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly. Besides, built on the internationally certified foundation of the C919, it integrates over 2.2 million components and has successfully passed 3,500 rigorous test sets. It also features a real-time monitoring system, enabling continuous tracking of aircraft status throughout the flight, something many Western aircraft still lack. In addition, the cockpit is outfitted with next-generation avionics, smart adjustable seating, and dynamic lighting, the cabin layout is optimized for maximum comfort and operational efficiency. Among the nine avionics suppliers, four are Chinese companies, highlighting China's growing technological prowess in commercial aviation. But this is the craziest thing. The aircraft's wingspan stretches nearly 65 meters, larger than the Boeing 787, demanding world-class aerodynamic design and structural engineering. The cabin width measures 5.5 meters, exceeding both the Boeing 787 with 5.28 meters and Airbus A350 with 5.34 meters, offering more space and a better experience for passengers on long-haul flights. With all those superior features combined, what do you think about this Chinese aircraft? From its design and materials, to its systems and passenger experience, the C929 isn't just a worthy rival, it's a strategic leap forward. It is a bold statement that China is not just catching up in global aviation, it's stepping out in front. But wait, that's not all that shocks you. Because the biggest shock of all is this. The C929 is powered by a Chinese-built engine. Yes, you heard that right. An entirely domestic engine made in China. It is named CJ2000. With this engine, China has taken full control over its propulsion system, a domain where it previously relied heavily on Western partners, like those in the C919 program. The CJ2000 was originally developed for the C919, but was shelved due to concerns over stability and certification. Now it's making a comeback and is set to be tested on the C929 by 2029. If the tests succeed, this engine will mark a breakthrough moment freeing China from dependency on Western engine suppliers. This engine delivers up to 35 tons of thrust on par with the world's leading power plants, but with better fuel efficiency, lower noise levels, and reduced operating costs, all while enhancing our passenger comfort. Besides, its 3-meter fan diameter and 4.5 5-meter height make it even larger than GE's GENX engine, which powers the Boeing 787. And when it comes to cruise fuel consumption, this Chinese engine outperforms many current alternatives, positioning the C929 as one of the most efficient and cost-effective commercial aircraft on the planet. With a maximum cruising speed of 980 km per hour, smooth operation, and whisper-quiet performance, the C929 doesn't just keep up with Boeing and Airbus, it edges ahead. And with the CJ2000, China isn't just building a new aircraft, new engine, it's declaring full technological independence in aviation. Actually, the significance this aircraft brings to China's aviation industry is far greater than we might imagine. It's a strategic move to disrupt the dominance of Boeing and Airbus. With a pricing advantage powered by China's high-quality, low-cost manufacturing tradition, Comac is positioning itself to capture global market share. But China's aviation ambitions go far beyond the C929. The regional ARJ-21 has been rebranded as the C909, signaling a maturing domestic ecosystem. If the C929 enters service as planned, China will, for the first time, offer a full lineup of commercial aircraft and break free from its reliance on Western manufacturers. 
and that's not the end. Larger models like the C939 and C949 are already in development, aimed squarely at competing with the Boeing 777X and Airbus A380. The Chinese manufacturer has also unveiled plans for a supersonic C949, expected to launch by 2049, a futuristic double-deck, triple-aisle jet, designed to usher in a new era of high-speed air travel. Over the next 20 years, this country is projected to need at least 9,000 new aircraft, including 1,000 wide bodies. Each milestone, like the C929, is more than a technological achievement. It's a signal that China is rising to become a global leader in aviation. And this is only the beginning.